Today we're back in the kitchen making canned French onion soup. This recipe, which makes a, they say six pints, it made more than six pints for me, calls for eight cups of onions. I use really sweet ones because that's what I like, sliced a quarter inch thick. So for French onion soup, you want to cut all of your onions the same thickness so that they brown evenly. I've got three pounds I've started on here and I'm gonna get them in the frying pan with a scant three tablespoons of butter. Got a little pat of butter right there and I'm going to go ahead and caramelize these three pounds of onions and get them ready to make into soup. Yes, butter. You can put butter in jelly and water bath it. You can. Have a tiny bit of butter to caramelize these onions and can it in soup. And yes, it is approved. I'm a rebel. I do rebel things, but this is actually not a rebel thing. Just saying. Putting it out there so you know. So, I'm going to brown these onions, get them ready for my French onion soup. I know somebody's going to ask, so that pat of butter was about three tablespoons. And this camera does not show how golden these onions are they're really really turned golden brown they look very white in the camera but they are turning very golden brown they're getting caramelized and they've got a few more minutes to go this is really the longest part once they're chopped is getting the car onions to caramelize um these were very how do i put potent onions and not the sweetest ones that i would have preferred but they were given to me so I'm going to use what I was given and so it's real important to get them golden brown and caramelized so the sugars come out in them for this soup so just going to uh, give them a few more minutes so that they all turn golden brown and then we're going to get them packed in jars So I added half a teaspoon of thyme and somehow I didn't catch that on video. So just measure with your heart. And now I'm adding half a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper and it's only me holding the camera. So hang on. Pepper in here. I've got the pepper in here. I've got the thyme in here. I'm gonna put half a cup of onions in um, pint jars, see how much I've got, and we'll get those all loaded up. Yes, I should be using a funnel. I can't find it right this minute. There we go, half a cup. So then I just took my beef broth and filled it up to my one inch headspace. Got to go get another container. Um, but yeah, there is my French onion soup. Give me a minute, let me get these filled up. All right, so we've got them in the canner. I'm trying to get them up to pressure. They're not quite there yet. I want 10 pounds of pressure. I did vent for 10 minutes. I forgot to film that. You guys know the drill. As soon as it gets up to pressure, I will start the timer. Um, this is soup time for pints. So I will get this going. Just waiting. I can't start yet. I'm not even up to five pounds yet on it. But yep, here we go. We've got it going. And we're just waiting. I've got the canner up to 10 pounds of pressure. And I'm going to go ahead and Put that timer on for 60 minutes and I'll be back when it's done. But that's all there is to it. It's done for the soup time. Pints are 60 minutes, quarts are 75. And that is your French onion soup. And I hope you enjoy the video. I'll show you when I take them out. All right, so there is the French onion. Uh, just uh, beef stew and the beef barley. I think the quarter cup was a little much for that. We'll show you in that video 
but there is the French onion. It is beautiful all out of the canner and look forward to the beef barley and the beef stew. Video is coming soon. Thank you everyone. When you're ready to serve your soup, be sure to have some fresh croutons on hand. Cover it with a little mozzarella and brown it in the oven. You can just boil it um, till the mozzarella is golden brown.